So because of this association between mechanical ventilation and lung damage and BPD, there has been a very large list of different modalities of mechanical ventilation. And what is striking is that there are very few well-controlled prospective randomized trials comparing these different modalities of ventilation. So I'm just going to concentrate in a few points that I think that are evidence-based on how to use conventional ventilation limiting or reducing the damage. I'm going to talk about synchronization. I'm going to talk about volume targeting. And I'm just going to mention briefly high frequency, high frequency ventilation at the end of this uh, presentation. So for many years, uh, when we ventilated babies uh, early in the era of uh, neonatal intensive care, we wanted to control this impact. So we wanted to see them quiet and we used then hyperventilation or muscle relaxations and sedation to take over the respiratory control. This has been shown very clear, clearly that it's not a good idea. And uh, we have moved into a situation where we want to use the ventilator only to assist what the baby is doing, to amplify his effort, not to take over. So the idea today is to use a synchronized IMB, cis control or pressure support ventilation. And we will analyze why this is so important. And the aim, as uh, Dr. Stetson uh, discussed before, is to really move to non-invasive respiratory support as quickly as possible, because there is evidence that using non-invasive respiratory support significantly uh, reduces the risk of uh, lung injury and bronchopulmonary dysplasia. 